me in Christ. And that faith in Christ has turned your life around. There will be the fruit of meekness and gentleness, fidelity, integrity. You'll be trustworthy, trustable when you have that saving faith. Believing of the Lord Jesus Christ brings righteousness, integrity, good life, righteous life. There's no sanctifying faith without scriptural fruit. When you're sanctified, your heart is pure. Your life is pure. Your secret, privacy, pure. When you're sanctified, no evil imagination, no appearance of evil, no covering up, the depravity of the atomic nature, so protect destroyed and you love the Lord with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind when you are sanctified by faith your heart is purified but if you are carrying around a polluted heart, a perverted heart, a corrupt heart. There's no sanctification there. Where is the evidence of that sanctification? You have steadfast faith, Whatever they do, whatever they say against you, your faith is steadfast in the Lord. How steadfast if your faith? Are you more steadfast in hypocrisy than in holiness? Examine yourself. Whether you are steadfast in faith or you are shaky. Vasilichi, undulichi, here and there. Do not deceive yourself. plain truthful to yourself and whatever you know you are missing go back to Calvary reaffirm your faith in the Lord the faith the purges, the faith that purifies, the faith that makes you go beyond superficiality, that makes you sincere. And you don't care for what people say of you, what they think of you. Men, women, neighbors are not in control of what you do 
of what you don't do. Whatever they say, let them say, serve the Lord without superficiality. Don't take the light in spectacular fruit, sensational miracles. And you're not thinking of real salvation. Don't be interested in the things that will not get you to heaven. Think about what will get you to heaven, that faith that makes you the man, the woman in Christ you ought to be. If signs and wonders spectacular sensational miracles are taking the place of salvation sanctification holiness in your heart dethrone that emphasis on the spectacular, sensational, and bring back the essential theme. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man will see the Lord. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Somebody can be in the church and not be in the faith. Like those who are in the, with the children of Israel in the wilderness, all walking together, drinking the water out of the rock together, taking the manna together. But they had unbelief. Egypt was now deep in their heart. They didn't get to the promised land. Examine yourself, examine your faith, examine your life, evaluate. Your profession of faith, evaluate. Get on your knees before the Lord. Lay everything on the altar. And have that faith explicit and expressed. That will bear the fruit of truthfulness and transformation. They profess that they know God. Don't stop at professing that you know God. God, there are people that did that and in works, they deny him. Being abominable, reprobates unto every good work. Father, we well, thank you today for the word you have spoken to us. I pray, Lord, the grace to receive everything, 
grant to everyone in Jesus' name. And whatever counterfeit faith, fake and fatal, that we possess, take it out of our lives in Jesus' name. The faith saving faith, the faith sanctifying faith, the faith steadfast faith that bears appropriate fruit given to everyone in Jesus' name. Help us to keep on looking unto Jesus and help us, Lord, that we forget what people say, what people think, what people feel of us. But to center a focus, a faith, a meaning, a confidence, and trust in you and you alone. Amen. Give us that life that is lived in Christ, lived by Christ in us, lived for Christ and for his glory. Help us, Lord, that from now on, our eyes will be on the Lord alone. And all the fear of man, all the focus on man, all trembling before man, cancel from every life. Yeah. Make us live the victorious life. Yeah. And every arrow, every dart, fiery dart of the devil will quench everything in Jesus' name. Yeah. Everything you conquered at Calvary will be under our feet. Yeah. Everything you provided at Calvary will reflect in our lives. That a life will not be lived on the shadow of a man. Amen. But Amen. In the splendor of a mediator. Amen. In every life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. The Lord has done it again in my life, in your life, in our lives, in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe that what he has sown into our hearts, into our lives this day, today, oh. what, it will be established. Oh. It will help us to grow and help us to stand for the Lord okay. to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Reduce the volume. So here, today, in the name of Jesus, Praise the Lord. Can we, can we hear? Hallelujah. Uh, as we are uh, getting to the uh, close of our meeting this night, we want to remind ourselves again of uh, the other meeting days. However, we want to welcome whoever that is with us to, tonight for the, for the first time. If you have uh, been able to log in, to WhatsApp or whatever medium to to join this program. Great is the blessings of the Lord upon your life. And I pray that you will continue and you will never go back and you will never be small. You will never be feeble. You will be stronger in the Lord as you continue 
uh, with us in this in the Bible studies. God bless you as you came. Praise the Lord. And we also have our Friday Revival Hour. Uh, every Friday, we have our Friday Revival Hour. The, the time is 6.20 p.m. as well. It's a virtual uh, meeting. Sometimes it's uh, in person. On Sunday, we come together on Sunday for our Sunday worship service. The time is 8 in the morning and 8.30 in the morning. We come that 8.30 in the morning to start with the pre-service prayers. That will end at 9 where we the service commences in earnest. I pray that you come also for those times and I, I join brethren to pray and seek the face of God as God helps us. On Wednesday, we have a program for our seniors, Evening with Jesus. On fr uh, Thursdays, we have for our children, 6 p.m. And thereafter, the youth, youth take over. So please help them to remind them. Sometimes they forget. Even when they remember, they will pretend as if they have forgotten. And so please remind them. Have them tell them to go log in and join their brethren, their, uh, I mean, their equals, and study the, the word. Praise the Lord. We also will be having our uh, convention very soon. I think in July, a convention is coming up in July. This same Jesus, July 25th to 28th. I hope uh, people are getting ready. And for one of those things that to show that you are ready is to register. The registration, uh, this thing is uh, put up there in the WhatsApp. So you can log in and click whatever is appropriate that is applicable to you. Church, mail, and all that. That is to uh, let the church know that the number of people that are ready, that are coming, that are attending the program. The youths are ready also to leave on th this Thursday. And the, the, their leader let us know that we have to let uh, take them there to the church by 8 o'clock in the morning. If you have a youth in your house, uh, in your home, please help the child to, help, help that uh, child to get to DC church by 8 in the morning so that they will board the same bus and take off to North Carolina. We will do them the best, and we do ourselves the best by continuing to pray for them, pray for their men, pray for their, uh, their, 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 that God will give them journey mercies. God will take them to North Carolina, and there be with them, teach them, instruct them, lead them, transform them, bless them, and bring them back safely to us. And God will just do just that. If you call upon him, we will do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, if there's any other announcement, if there's any other announcement, it will be just keep looking at the WhatsApp, uh, church WhatsApp uh, handle, and you'll be able to see some more. You might be able to see some more. Meanwhile, we want to pray for a tithe and offering. If you have any tithe and or offering, you are to either zell it. The uh, church zell number is uh, is always posted. It's always there for us to uh, on Sundays. We always see it. I don't have it by heart. 
uh, either you sell it or write a check or bring it if your physical cash cash to the church. But right now, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your goodness. You have richly blessed us tonight. And Father Lord, we say, take all the glory. And we are praying, oh God, for whatever somebody having in mind to offer to your storehouse. Let the blessing of giving be bestowed to these individuals. And Lord, Lord, those that have nothing to offer right now, your blessings will abide with them as well in Jesus' name. Thank you for answer to prayers, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have come to the end of the service, but before we go, we're going to share the grace of God together. On mute yourself. Let's share the grace. At the count of the grace. We raise our Lord. Lord Jesus. The love of God. The fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Forever. Um, for the May the peace of God abide with us all in Jesus' name. Amen.